everyone, Mike Nelson here along with Crow and Servo aboard the Satellite of Love. I thought we'd start things a little differently and why don't you join us as each in our own way we observe a moment of silence. God, this is great, eh? This is so spiritual I just can't believe it. <laughs> you know what this silence thing is like? Well, I'll tell you. I feel like one of them trapper monks or something. <laughs> no kidding, really. I feel so purified. Well, my soul is as smooth as a baby's behind. <laughs> and I'm not just talking insights here. No, sir. I'm talking visions. I'm talking full-blown illumination. I'm talking about revelations shouted down from the mountaintop. I'm talking huge, deafening thunderclaps of truth. We're beyond mere silence here, friends. We're in the mega silence. You heard about the Big Bang Theory of silence? This is it, man. Come boom. <laughs> Boy, is it quiet! Wowie, is a silencer! What? I feel enlightenment! It's Satori! It's like I'm sitting under the Bodhi tree! Wow! <laughs> that was some round of silence, eh, gents? Yeah. Yeah, that was. But really hey, it doesn't have to end now. Heck, I could be silent like this all day! <laughs> oh, you can't, because Mike Johnson and Todd Langness are calling. Who's that? Uh, I went to grade school with him. Well, how the hell are we supposed well, to know I'm the people you went to grade What do you I think mean, we carry a yearbook what around? Like just a minute, Mike. Our Chinese food! Oh. Here, keep the dime. You did a great job. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, hope they didn't forget my tangerine chicken. Nope. Here it is. And my chicken with broccoli. My chicken with baby corn. My chicken with peanuts. My chicken in a distinctive sauce. Yeah. My chicken in sweet and sour sauce with lemongrass. Where's right. my mock duck? Where's my mock duck? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Here, why don't you send this, some of this stuff up to the Satellite of Love, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want this. <laughs> I'm going to eat my fortune cookie first. <laughs> I'm so naughty. <laughs> Let's see. Here. Oh. You have been summoned to a place beyond this earth, a place beyond your understanding, a place filled with laughter and love, safety and happiness for all eternity. A trusted friend will accompany you to this other plane of existence, and your journey will begin. Watch for the signs, my friend. Godspeed and good luck. What a crappy fortune. Clay, open yours. Oh. Ah, uh, you will die alone and afraid, knowing not a single human being ever loved you. Lucky numbers 3, 18, and 80. I, it's weird. I keep getting the same one. Uh, what about you, Nelson? Have you gotten your order? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Crow, you got your low main then? Uh, well, actually, it's the death of a salesman special, and that came with the willy low main. Go. Go.
Well, no matter. I'm just going to enjoy my hot and sour uh, seafood and giant clam soup. Just a cracker in there. Ah, what the? <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, 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 ow. <laughs> you kids with your weird Chinese foods, just give me a good old American hot dog any day. Oh, 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 no, 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 stop it, stop it. Uh, okay, Frank, I've got the napkins and the beverages. We can start eating. Well, Mike, your movie this week is a tasty fried dumpling called Samson versus the Vampire Women. And it's served with a tangy... Hot and sour sauce. Frank, did you leave me any food? Oh, there's plenty of soy sauce. Oh, thank you very much. I don't want any soy sauce. <laughs> give me that, you. <laughs> give, give me that <laughs> food. You. Oh, we got moving sign. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, fun. <laughs> oh, Capital Critters is on. <laughs> Why do they have the blue mask as their symbol? Okay, granted, he's the silver mask man. You didn't need to tell us that. Samson, the silver mask man to Tagliana. <laughs> and Delta Burke as Delilah. A.K.A. the silver mask man versus the vampire women. Right, right. A light-hearted romp about the war between the sexes. <laughs> Samson versus the vampire women, a major Supreme Court case. You know, suddenly I'm in the mood for a Black Castle hamburger. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and directed by Joe Smith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember, there are vampire women, so uh, get ready with the share jokes. <laughs> Isn't this the castle from the bottom of a fishbowl? What you call hell, Ramos calls photography. We gratefully acknowledge the cooperation of the Churubusco Azteca Film Board. With special assistance by G. Gordon Liddy. <laughs> I dreamed I visited El Manderley last night. Yes, the movie sucks, Fernando. Fabian! Ah! And the rest of this neighborhood is just modest ranchers. Oh, you know, I went to school with an Alfonso Corona Blake. Oh, wait, that was Todd Langness. I'm sorry. <laughs> Owl is imitating a spider monkey. I think this house is ready to show. Must be the maid's century off. Oh, they keep the vase nice and polished. Mm. Mm, yep. One of Newt's orphanages here. Mm -hmm. oh. Key! Key! I'll be back, Alfred. Hey, it's Cobb! <laughs> <sighs> It's like Miss Havisham's summer place. Ah. Suzanne Plachette. Isn't it strange how her eyes don't follow you no matter where you are in the room? Established 1761. <laughs> Someone taped over Seinfeld. Surprise! Happy birthday to you! Fang! Are you out there? <laughs> oh, it's Ginger Rogers. Whew. <sighs> lady, <laughs> I guess we caught you at a bad time, lady. <laughs> Let the share jokes begin. Hey, it looks like share! <laughs> <laughs> I don't tan. Did I miss the alarm? 
Ah, the place hasn't changed. Oh, I'm the first one up again, so I'll make breakfast. She's so thin, I hate her. This would be a good place to come if you were moving and needed boxes. By whammo. <laughs> Did I put my patios? Ooh. Ugh. Boy, Angie Dickinson has hit a rough spot. She's dressed like Jeremiah Johnson. Oh, what a beautiful morning. This place needs a plant. I think this is back when glam rock was really big. Can they keep this pace up? All right, Marines, grab your socks and drop your Marino. socks. You overslept. Queen and mistress of the night, lady of darkness and mentor of the vampire women, you have rested 200 years now. This is not a hotel, young lady. You slumbered for centuries just as you are. Your master has not summoned you until now. The hour is here at last. You are to make the prophecies he laid out come true. Mm -hmm. He reigns in the dark dominion. He, your lordly husband, calls, oh, sovereign. Just one more century. All men are addicted to corruption and obligated to seek self-destruction. Hey, well, that's they true, have actually. They permitted so. us all to awaken and call out the monsters that reside on this earth. Would you shut up? Some people got to work in the morning. Huh? Lay nails. Wow. You know, I know this isn't right to say, but this is an ugly sorority. <laughs> Chinese fire drill. I don't mind if their hair is long, as long as it's combed. Neat. With platformate. <laughs> <laughs> I call the bathroom first. The Exuma Support Group meets in the basement. I don't know, maybe a humidifier would help. Mm. Sorina, honored sovereign of the vampire women, at last the moment has arrived when we must select your successor so that you will be free again to return to the great depths of the earth. Uh -huh. To occupy your throne at his side. First, the minutes from the last Become meeting. To all mortal eyes, a queen of the most radiant beauty. Huh. Because you are destined to scourge and seduce men. Well, wake that lady up. Come on. And you as well, my sister. I call. No tag backs. I tundra. The one selected to order and guide you as priestess of vampires. I must carry out my mission. So, I will see that you are nourished with human blood. Uh, I have a question. He is here. Listen to our cry, O oh inscrutable Lord of Darkness. I'm doing it. Imponderable king of witchcraft and black magic. Protect us under your great power. Uh, okay. Render us invulnerable to the assault and attack of mortals. Anything else? Shield our bodies and our eyes from the sign of the cross. Shield. Yeah. And help us to avoid daylight. Uh, daylight, yes. Our sure. worst enemy is the sun. Uh, hold on, let me write this all down. Don't make us touch fire that purifies all. Let this be your will, O Lord of Darkness. Yes, I... Uh, oh, sorry, stepped on the plug there. The devil doesn't like me. A shark. Some of them went on to start whole. Rihanna. Celine, hear my cry. B I C T O R Y. Let your immortal rays touch us. Give me the appearance that I'll need now. I must have beauty in order to fulfill my mission. I think she looks good now. You are the breath that gives life to my body. Quit kissing up. You are my spirit. And awaken your sleeping slaves as well. Mexico really needs a Martha Stewart. Mm -hmm. My servant. 
Hey, pretty good first try. <laughs> Another successful Jose A. Bear makeover. I'm pretty, so I have value now. <laughs> She has to hold her arms up till her roll-on dries. They got some pretty busy spiders in these air horror movies. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, the three Russian aviators. <laughs> Selene, hear my cry. <laughs> and awaken your slaves. Selene, I believe I asked you nicely to hear my cry. And you, the dead. The dead, hey, the dead. Ooh, Come on, the Magnolia. Ooh. Awaken from the sleep that has kept you silent for 200 years. Silent except for Ted. Boy, was he sawing logs. Oh, <gasps> Tim Allen. So for 200 years, nobody tried to develop this castle into upscale townhomes? Oh, that's not a worn his headgear. And Jackie Mason. What am I doing here? Why am I in a castle? Why am I in a crypt? I'm a vampire. Oh, jeez. I've been awake since 1890. Oh, it's come undone. You could have left any time. <laughs> I like me. Well, this guy's change is a little more subtle. We've given him better heart support. <laughs> oh, skipper! It's the pips. Do I smell bacon? Follow. Looks like a Stuart Anderson's cattle company. Uh, just do what she does, I guess. Boy, I'd be nervous sleeping under that chandelier. There's no railing here, so look out. Did you ever see a Polish magnet? Here, it's over this way. Which one is Brad Pitt? Hmm, ah, uh, well, I took a wrong turn. Oh, I know. She woke him up so they could move the couch. Don't I look fat in that picture? Look at her. 200 years ago. She was selected by the King of the Dark Dominions to succeed our great Sorina. Huh. It was your fault that she fled from the hand of my sister vampires. We're confused. Yes, at that time an extraordinary girl. Dedicated to a life of virtue caused us to fail in our sacred duty. I'm a crappy vampire. Her beauty and kindness were handed down to a descendant of hers. And so tonight you will all see her. When she has reached her 21st year, we must capture her so that she'll be here to take part in our great ritual. Now let's get out there and take it to him in the second half. Remember, if you fail this time... It's hard for women to be managers. I have great power and I will destroy you. You'll be converted into dust, understand? We swear we will not fail you again, Tundra. That's permafrost to you, mister. Serena needs blood and my sisters and I need it also. She needs young blood. Mm. Eek. That is our job tonight. <laughs> Follow me, we'll search for human blood. I say we start by searching for humans. Uh, uh, wait, my string is tangled. Oh, look out. Oh. They were going to have vampires take the form of squirrels, but it wasn't the same. So she was Nora Dunn 200 years ago? <laughs> I guess. As time goes on, I, I dedicate this song to Thorazine. Auditioning for Freddy de Cordoba. I recall a second and third movement. <laughs> Remember when we had to listen to her stand up act? Sure, I'm a little tight, but I think I could get through it. I'm gonna break into some heavy blues now, yeah. <laughs> no, no, 
no, you naughty boy. Don't look at me. Now Dean Martin's going to come in and jump on the piano. <laughs> I love that. Hey, the woodland creatures love her music. I don't get the physics of a hovering bat. The Vampire Precision Flight Team in formation. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Wait, wait. There's the note I like, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we'll go wait in the car. Just wanted to fly over with you and make sure you got here safe. Right. Fingering is appalling and her phrasing is confused and messy. The Mexican Larry Tate. El Stevens! Loan me your sweater. I want to loan her my sweater and I don't need it back. Oh. Just like Count Basie. One more time! Beethoven from the grave renounces his great work. Hey, great. You know that thing from Peanuts? Uh. I'm blitzed, and I don't care who knows it. General Hospital. Mm -hmm. She's charging. Look out! I'm sorry you couldn't get a better seat, but we're sold out. Scout? Bats got into his hair, they drown in the Vaseline. <laughs> well, the bats liked your playing. They were very supportive. Hey, Diana, what happened to you? I don't know, George. But it all was so strange. All of a sudden, I heard a voice calling me from a tremendous distance. Saying, drink more gin. There wasn't anything out there. Could have been a bird. I think I saw something fly. It's most likely that you're nervous, Diana. You know, I bet it was a butterfly out there attracted to the light. And that's all. Or a tiny condor waiting for you to die. I guess you're right. It was only my nerve. George, dear, you know tomorrow we announce our wedding plans during the party. We and do. And tomorrow's my birthday. Right. And now that you're feeling better, darling, remember we're going out. Uh -huh. uh, George, I'd prefer that Diana stay here in the house tonight. Why, Professor? Mm. Uh, I don't know, really, but she's fatigued and better rest tonight. Yeah. Papa's telling the truth, dear. I'm a little tired and I prefer to go to bed early. And tomorrow I'll feel much better, George. Is that okay? All right, then. You win. Ben. Anyway, pretty soon you'll be using my name, and I'll give the orders around the house. You will be my slave. Don't you agree, Professor? Huh? <laughs> oh, yes, certainly. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Good night, George. Tomorrow you'll feel better. Oh, the passion. I'm going up, <laughs> Papa. Get a good rest, darling. Uh, wait. Uh, when did you get that tattoo? Mm -hmm. You get back here. Don't you ignore me. Well, good night. <laughs> Professor, your daughter's hot. I know something is worrying you. You're trying to hide it. Uh, no, no, it's nothing. <laughs> the trouble is that you're a little nervous also. You're imagining things. Well, I don't know. You seem to be acting pretty strange tonight. Uh, but it, it's so funny that you would think but that just because natural. you say I'm acting I strange. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you, Professor. <laughs> that guy has a funny voice. <laughs> you're not going to be losing a daughter. On the contrary, you'll be gaining a son. Come on, Mike. How do you play this game? Yeah. Well, it's pretty easy. You just uh, move a piece and you go, Stratego. Oh, I think I can do that. Uh, move a piece there. Stratego. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> hey. hey, hey, look, you guys. Look, look, look. Oh. Sure, Crow, anything to win, eh? No, I... Come on, we're right in the middle of a game here. Yeah. Come on. Stratigo. But he's right there. He's right there. I think, sure, I think it's a star child. I hate hey, he's... What? what? Really? Oh, when? Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Stratigo! All right, Crow, your turn. Something's going to happen, Mike. Something wonderful. I know, I'm about to win. <laughs> Stratego! Yeah. Hey. Right, girl. Yep. How are you, George? I'm not sure I understand that game. Hello, Charles. 
Tell me, Inspector, you working on an investigation or stopping a crime? I just came to say hello to my dear old friend, Professor Roloff. Mm -hmm. And to say that since Diana's starting a new life, we can play chess every night now. Chess? But you're coming to the Masquerade Ball, aren't you? Yes, I guess so. I'll be coming as Sherlock Holmes. Although I haven't received my invitation as yet, unfortunately. But that's why I asked you to come tonight. I wanted to give you the invitation in person, Inspector. Let me go write it quick. Well, I'll say goodnight. See you tomorrow, Inspector. Bye for now, George. See you tomorrow, Professor. Sleep well, George. Um, some butlers stay inside, sir. Shut up and get outside. Yes, sir. Please come into the private study, Charlie. What was that all about? Please walk through the door into the private study, Charlie. He's got a picture of Reddy Kilowatt up over there. I'm very shy around inspectors. Now why all the mystery? I can see that you're anxious to speak to me. I am not anxious. It is you who are anxious. You see, Diana is in terrible danger, but what's a good way to explain it to you? Puppet theater? But that's easy. Start by explaining. <sighs> I can't, Charles. I'm at a loss. Be frank. I want to hear all the details. Okay. I'm to understand that Diana could be in danger, Professor. I've been summoned here because you hope I'll find an adequate way to protect her. Isn't that true? And nevertheless, you can't or won't tell me what is happening. And that makes it hard to get the scene going. How can you expect any help when I don't know who it is I must protect your daughter from? Charles, I'm usually quite direct and I don't like secrets. But in this case, I hesitate now because you see I'm not sure yet. <laughs> That's about what you'll say. Oh, I... Uh, huh? Someone is trying to kidnap Diana so they can't collect ransom from you. Come on now, speak up. No, no, I swear it's not true, Charles. No, it's something far more terrible than death itself. It's horrifying. I'm at a loss. But forget I said anything. That's all I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> Should you decide to help me, fine. If not, then leave me alone. Look, you invited me here. Now take it easy, Professor. I'll help you, and willingly. But how? I can't tell you. Now leave me alone. Tomorrow night, I'd like you to gather together some men, and good men, and come to the party, Charles. I mean to protect Diana. Now get out of here. Now look, if she's in danger, why not suspend the party? That's impossible. Diana's very sentimental. It's only what the girl deserves. But at the same time, she can't know the facts either. My, the situation is desperate now. But, Professor, let me know what's happening here, simply for Diana's good. No, don't insist. I repeat, I can't say any more, Charles. Now, do me a favor. Leave me alone. I have work to get done tonight. Be sure to stop by again tomorrow, and then leave immediately. <laughs> no, wait, come back. Why won't he help me? Please shut the film off and discuss now. What would you have done to make this a better party? If only I had a television set. Hmm. Hey, he's a CB owner. I wonder what his handle is. Better review the rules of etiquette again. <laughs> uh, consult my sacred role of brawny. Uh, they let Billy draw today's pamphlet. At the end of 200 years... I'll tell him something. Sandra will seek revenge in one of Rebecca's descendants. This unfortunate young girl will inherit the beauty that her ancestor enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And when she becomes 21 years of age, she will be initiated into the black rituals of the vampire women to succeed Serena. Page two. On her left shoulder, she will carry the figure of a vampire, the unmistakable sign of her tragic destiny. Her tragic destiny was announced by her parents of Red Wing, Minnesota. Bing. I looked better before I tried to look good. Ow. 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 It's Butterfield Ocho. <laughs> hmm. Now, when was I a flying leatherneck? Bothered by unsightly demon marks? I shouldn't have gotten drunk at Sturgis. I'm responding to your Let's Get Acquainted ad. Uh, I suppose I have to read her The Very Hungry Caterpillar again. I gotta have this room soundproofed. <laughs> Garth Hudson's outside. Diana, what happened? But I can't stay long, so don't tell me. <laughs> the awful face behind the window. It was simply hideous to pass. Ugly. Don't talk about your mother that way. And so diabolical, it seemed to be spying on me through the window. Mind if I throw that butterfly theory at you again? <laughs> Calm down, darling. Calm down. 
You didn't see anything. You're only nervous. You're imagining things. No. I can't forget that incident downstairs when I was sitting at the piano. And then this horrible face. It's not my imagination, Dad. This is all real. Mm -hmm. I know, but I can't find an explanation for it. Honey. But I know that it exists, and I'm afraid, Dad. You're getting pawns on my suit. Come on, sweetheart. Please calm down. I repeat, you didn't see anything. Have faith in your father. You're probably just crazy. And this thing, it has a meaning. I was born with this, and you know it. Your arm? Yes, that's true. I always wanted to know what it meant, and always you refused to tell me, Dad. Now, what is it? Isn't it strange it should be shaped like a vampire? It's only a mark like any other, darling. I've seen plenty on other persons, not the same as yours, I know, but they had some strange shape, and they didn't mean a thing. Why not have faith in your dad, darling? These other persons were all cast into hell, of course. Tell me, Diana, just where did you see this thing? This ugly and horrible face in the night. I saw it in the mirror. When I was combing my hair, Dad. In the mirror, you see? Didn't you ever read that light does curious things when it bounces off a mirror? It reproduces figures and shadows. I've been fooled like that many times, dear. Why should I try to kid you? It's not logical. <laughs> Come, dear. Try and get some sleep now. Should you need me, I'll be in the study. And there's no need to worry any longer. Many times, lint gets in your eye and takes on ghoulish shapes. It happens to everyone. <laughs> Well, better get some holy water. Going to need a cross, some garlic, maybe she some... Is so a demon, I can't believe it. That mirror thing was pure genius. I gotta get a better fan. I'll send for your car, Mr. Lugosi. Thank you, sir. We had a really Hispanic time. Thank you. Ah, the entire Mexican middle class. <laughs> 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 oh, so the devil's minions are cheap thugs. <laughs> Over the lips and through the gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. Huh? I got a load of vampires here. They didn't count on Carlton the doorman. <laughs> it's a ah. vampire wilding. <laughs> Tell your friends the vampires are here. <laughs> I need more eyeliner. Yes, they're real. Now that's great puppetry. Trying to catch flies? <laughs> These two blue marks close together on the victim's neck are what have me puzzled, Inspector. Besides that, we didn't find one drop of blood in the corpse. Why, you could swear that a vampire murdered the girl. Hey, now that I think about it, I'll bet those monsters were vampires, Doc. And right after she attacked the girl, she changed into a vampire. Uh -huh. She sucked her blood and then she began to change. <laughs> Take them along, boys, and put them under a week's detention. <laughs> but listen, Chief, listen, I'm not crazy, I tell you. It's true, I tell you, it's true. Those were vampires that I saw. You said the same thing about a parking violation yesterday. Are there any internal injuries, Doctor? No, I'm fine. No, none, Inspector. And those two blue holes there, don't you really know what they are? No, I don't. I can tell you one thing, and there's no mistake about it, my friend. I'm Coco Chanel. I attribute these two holes to some strange animal whose species is unknown. And there's no way that I can determine it. Well, I think it was the vampire, but let's keep that guy locked up. Hmm, he seemed disappointed. I should have made up an answer. <coughs> ah, the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> They're gonna wax his bikini area. <laughs> the torture of Don DeFore. Now, what do you know about the doorman industry? They're worshipping a giant Toblerone. It's a Mandrell Sisters Halloween special. Now, who sat on the mascot? I thought liturgical dance was dead. Do we have an agenda, Susan?
Would you just get out of the car? Dive in, girls. The buffet's open. Uh, you got a little. Let me get a little goop out here. I'd like to thank the Academy. Serena, queen of the vampire women. Here. The hour for you to acquire your original beauty has arrived. I've learned to appreciate my offbeat looks. She's got combination skin. One part is fetid and one part is rotted. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Putrescence. <laughs> she looks like a magic eye picture. Woke up, get out of bed, drive the comb across my head. Do, 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 do. I am so sure Debbie gets to be queen when she's been asleep for five centuries. I mean, like, I work the float and everything. She thinks she's hot snot on a silver platter, but she's just a cold booger on a paper plate. She's just Princess K of the yucky way. Hey, how's the snake hanging? <laughs> Go play with your ball. Who didn't use a coaster? Ah, she's a member of the Mug Club. I swear I'll just nurse this one. Uh, I was going to ask you something, but I can't remember now. Uh, Guys, the presence of his pants prove there is a god. The making of the International Mail Catalog. You know, it's hotter than hell in here. <laughs> I wonder if this is considered a sweet assignment for those guys. You want a sip? I ordered a Tom Collins. Don't gob in it. Celine, hear my cry. This is the moment. This is the moment to carry out the supreme sacrifice. We must have blood. And he is ready to die. I am? What? Wait. I'm... <laughs> We're out of blood. Is Pepsi okay? Too much middle management in this organization. Mm -hmm. Can I get a softer slap? No. Oh, sir, <laughs> I implore you to close your legs. Tab's got sass. I just came in for a cleaning. Oh, bite me. <laughs> oh. Demi Moore, Michael Douglas, disclosure. Once you let yourself go, it feels kind of good. Body by Jake. All right, O negative on tap. Hey, somebody tip him up so we get all of it. Put us in, coach. Come on. This is what Southern Baptists think Catholic Mass is like. Who wants blood? I, I do, do, I, I do. do. Once you drain the blood, can they just dump it in the driveway? No. They gotta take it to a garage, I think. I wonder if there are vegetarian vampires. Now, you can't donate again for a week. Can you imagine the huge apocalyptic grease fire if they threw Rush Limbaugh in there? Oh, he's green. The fire's all smoky. You got me up for that? going to get you so pretty. Hey, it's Big Ethel. <laughs> He's going to have a great big blood mustache. Do it. Finish, on, it. finish it. Woo, woo. Uh, it must be a Merlot. I'm just waiting for that click, Maggie. Anna Maria Albergetti. Satan has given me prominent cheekbones. Huh. There's some happy vampires here. She's the Thelma Ritter of the group. Will you look at this rock Todd gave me? 
Let them drink. Our sisters are impatient. Do you think drinking will help? Oh, that, that's it? I, I was expecting another order. I'm sorry. Here, honey, take an extra big sip. <laughs> hey, Lily snagged in the cup. Well, it doesn't always work. Sade, your love is king. This uh, Joe Cocker here in the foreground? <laughs> come on, come on, I just need a little beauty, man. Just a little bit, please. Just make me a little <laughs> bit pretty, come on. <laughs> And in the back, hey, check out the faint glow emanating from Deep 13. Wow. What is with all the ethereal stuff today? Frank. Frank, awaken my child. Frank. 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 Jesus? No. Torgo. Yes, that was the name. And thus may you still call me, though now I am Torgo the White. Join me, Frank, of TV in a beautiful place where all the lackeys and toadies and whipping boys are forever safe and free from their oppressors. Sounds great. Can Dr. Forrester come? No, the point is you wouldn't want hey, to. Hey, they fixed your knees, huh? There are no bum knees in my world, child. And how about your voice? What about my voice? Now, arise, TV's Frank, and join me, for they are all here. Tonto and Cato and Robin and Don Wilson and Gabby Hayes. And Joe Besser? Yes, all of them. In short, yes, we have second bananas. Wow! So Torgo is actually working with two completely reconstructed knees. That is dedication. Oh, amazing! Frank is gone. Well, that's amazing, too! I think that if Frank was still here, he would want us to say... A... Oh, go, oh, we no, got movie no, stars! No, that's not what I meant at all! Huh? You've seen the girl chosen as my successor? Yes, Majesty. And likewise, I have seen on her skin the mark that identifies her. It's a liver spot. The dark vampire. She is truly lovely, O oh Queen. Her beauty rivals yours. Yeah, right. She will be a deserving successor. Tomorrow's her birthday. She'll be 21. And we all know the prophecy says that she is to stand in your august presence here. When the ceremony starts, oh queen. We dropped our contact. In very few moons, I am to terminate my reign. It is written that I am to return to the depths of the Dark Dominion. If you fail me again, yeah. my vengeance will know no limits. Hear us, O oh queen who rules the night. Sovereign of the vampire women. And a good friend. I shall not fail this time, I promise you. If I could just interject here. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't help overhearing. <laughs> The How and Why Book of Vampire Women. Oh, why did I agree to proofread this Michener novel? Oh. Hey, I found a great thermal. I'm riding an updraft. Hi! So, she comes, sucks in your neck, you live for all eternity, she's super hot. What's the problem here? Someone is undressing me with their eyes. Miss Tennessee has wandered away from the home. Ah, I see the spanking service has arrived. Tom. Oh. Transfer the county's funds to derivatives. Anderson Windows and... Well, 
Hello. <laughs> She's got a beefy assistant with a flashlight crouched in the bushes. She just got hard contacts. I know, I look like Vincent Price. In God's name, I order you to disappear. Against him and his power, you are nothing. I'll use the G word, no fair. It, oh, geez, I don't have the acceleration I used to. It's in second. Jeez, I'm as mental as my loony daughter. Fine, at last you got here. <laughs> I came as soon as I got your message, Professor. What's going on? I feel sort of silly right now. Did I overdress? I think you'll recall <laughs> that for years now, I've been translating these crumbling old parchments here. Yeah, they belong sure. to my ancestors. Right. Uh -huh. And in which they announce the tragic destiny that awaits my daughter, Diana. Right, I remember that. No, I haven't forgotten. Tomorrow's the day, Professor. Diana's about to become of age. Have you found anything that will help? <laughs> An important clue that could be used to stop those monsters when they try to take her? I studied it, Samson. But the things I found out are not encouraging. And I fear that there's no hope for her. Should I get into my costume? <laughs> oh, I forgot my bifocals. Here they affirm that according to the apocalypse, we're living at a time when things are perfect for the resurrection of monsters here on Earth. <laughs> Since men are bent on wrecking destruction upon the world today, They'll heed their selfish desires and use the tremendous power that nature has given us. Uh, do you need any wrestling yes, done? nuclear energy. But there's something worse than what I mentioned just now. Are his nipples painted I on? I spoke to you about that strange and extraordinary lad uh -huh. who saved Rebecca's life. The documents say that he also would have a descendant. An outstanding young man of enormous strength, destined to hide his identity under a silver-colored mask, Samson. That extraordinary young man is obviously you. Oh, obviously. But I should tell you something else. According to the prophecies, even you might fail trying to protect Diana. It's a vague prophecy. All the evil they can muster is against you in this thing. And so you might be killed attempting to save my daughter. Nevertheless, I have to continue. I have to go on the way my ancestors did to eliminate evil of all kinds. And human vampires are monsters that can never expose themselves to direct daylight. Hmm? Surely they use a hideout of some kind as a refuge. And there possibly we could surprise and destroy them. I know. Still, I it said It could be that these symbols here refer to their hideout. But in spite of all my efforts, Samson, I fail trying to decipher their hidden meaning. That's too bad. Well, I got a golf day with Randy the Macho Man. But I'll be ready for anything, so don't worry. Uh, should I follow you over there? Or? You're coming to the party to protect Diana, aren't you? No, Professor. I have other plans. I'll bet. But I'll be responsible for Diana's safety. Hmm. Another man gone. Is there something about my study that drives people away? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mexico is one goofy country. <laughs> I don't know. I just came home and they were here. <laughs> Any bad puppets? Yep, no bad puppets. Why is he wearing a wastebasket? I came dressed as a Mexican. They are chaperoning the hell out of this party. This party is out of control. Tonight we're going to party like it's 1959. Now don't forget my instructions. No one is to enter this house without an invitation. Very well, sir. Jeeves' final years, exiled to Mexico. I'd like to apologize in advance for our wedding night. Hey, she was supposed to come as a bat. It looks like the guy from House Party. Oh, yeah, it's kid or play. Oh, Jeez, and they call us the undead. Are you feeling ill? I gorged myself on a cracker. Just for a moment there, I was dizzy. Let's sit down, please. It's a rockin' party, what with the Strauss and the dancing. I never thought I'd long for a mariachi band. My poor girl's happy. Just watch her face. She, of course, doesn't suspect that tonight could be really tragic for her. You have an odd way about you. Don't worry so much about her, Professor. Why do you think we're here? We'll stop any attack that they could begin. Provided the attack is lame and poorly thought out, and it's our grandma's. Mickey Spillane locked out of another society party. 
I have often stalked down this lane before. So then I sailed around Cape Hope, and of course, King Ferdinand, he's a really good friend of mine, you know, I could introduce... Oh, you oh. killed one of the Dutch masters, you fiends! Oh, geez, this one is really hard. <laughs> ah, good, my order's up. Well, that's our limit. Hmm. Mm, Giorgio makes me gag. Nope, never lost a party guest. Now hide them. In a little while, we'll be back. She must have drank Chinese blood. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you, you only rent blood, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, meanwhile, back at the world's most joyless party. Please stop playing the waltz. I only wish he wasn't costume. Now do you feel better? Mm-hmm. Now how about now? Do you feel better now? What if I do this? Is this better? Better now? Now? Huh? How about now? Yo, here's my invite. The Mr. and Miss Vampire of Passaic, New Jersey. <laughs> They're actually gonna perk up this party. You are not the Kissingers. Please excuse the question, but... Would you sleep with me? Oh. Maybelline, fine makeup sensibly priced. I will get your cream of wheat. Uh, good job, Ted. You were firm but fair. She okay, then? I'd say she's hot, hot, hot! <laughs> oh, good, they're finally putting the salmon out. She's totally attracted to my hat. I want to look inside my hat. Come on over, go ahead and look at the sweatband. <laughs> I did the glitter myself. <laughs> you homewrecker! You know what they say about guys with big hats, huh? <laughs> you know, once you go Cossack, you never go back. <laughs> Aren't some of the costumes here weird? Yeah. Hey, you uh, want to wrestle? Ten minutes ago I met you And we murmured a how do you do okay. I should tell you that some time ago a prophecy was spoken up. Oh, what the hell? Give me another black Russian. <laughs> I just realized that this is a totally boring party. Let's bring out the peyote. Happened hours ago. The party's finally coming to life. Get that man! He's carrying the weight. Well, Mr. Wayne. Uh oh, more supernatural tomfoolery. Want to buy a watch? No fire. Your bullets could wound her. Da 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 da. Or go ahead and fire, whatever you think. <laughs> hut, hut! <laughs> They've got the polka queen! Oh no! Whee! It's fun being the eternal Dan! Woo Come on, Skipper! <laughs> He's got the ball at the 20, the 10, he could go all the way. It's the Santo Mobile. Can't believe I forgot my cup. Hey, mom said you guys have to let me play. Oh, oh, oh. 
Did we have a plan for this, people? The undead recruits of the WWF. Where are the cocktail weenies? Hogpile. Oh, titty twister, not fair. Samson's fighting against them now. Wait till they're separated. Oh, are they separated? That's too bad. I had no idea that's not what they mean. Oh, now they got to call Joan Embry. Get the tennis rackets. The Malibu getaway car. Just leave me out here. I'm fine. I'll sleep. It's, it's cool out here. Please. Do you think you can still shotish? All right, you folks need to turn down the Strauss a little bit. There's been some complaints. We heard shots from this direction. Is anything wrong, Inspector? Nothing, nothing. You can go now. Thank you, thank you. I'll go now. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, I saw two corpses in the garden. Oh, Just I... a moment. Hmm? <laughs> Not a word about the things you saw here in the garden tonight. Or they'll put us in the booby hatch, I'm sure of that. That's exactly what we were thinking. Tell the jailers to free that little officer that informed us about the flying vampire. And call for an ambulance, too. Right, Chief. Come on, boys. Even after dispatching orders, I feel empty. Well. And that was when I was captain of the pep squad. Um... I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Now you know why I hesitated to explain it to you. Mm -hmm. Don't you have the slightest idea where to find the hideout that these creatures are living in? Ah, that must be one of my many wrestling acquaintances. Oops, pardon my fault. Hello? This is the residence of Professor Roloff. Yes. For you, Charles. Uh, make it quick. We got a movie going on. Okay. Thank you. Hmm? Yes? I'm the inspector. Go ahead. Uh, no, I don't know the count or the amount. All right. I'll be there later. I have to go home and empty the dishwasher. Another pair was attacked at the same spot as last night. They'd been in the nightclub also. The poor girl was killed and they found the same small holes in her neck. Mm. Oh. Her escort was kidnapped. Well, they kidnapped her car? What was the point of that? I mean, her car. Now that's an idea. Put the cheese inside the cracker. The crimes that were committed there these last two nights could furnish us with a clue. Copernicus? It's evident that they used that area to attract their victims in some way. Hello, anybody here? I think we'll have to play all our cards this time. It will be morning pretty soon. Edna! Edna! What? But tomorrow night we'll go to that nightclub and we'll take Diana with us. Are you out of your mind, Charles? You're a mean one, Mr. Under the circumstances, Diana's in just as much danger here as she would be in any other area. Mm -hmm. Now don't worry. I'll send guards to surround the block and they won't cause suspicion. And my best trained men are going to be in that nightclub too. Now look what happened out there in the garden tonight. <laughs> and your men's bullets couldn't detain those infernal creatures, Charles. Yes, but all in all, I don't think anything's going to happen, Diana. <laughs> and on the other hand, it's quite possible that we'll find out who those monsters are and that diabolic female that leads them. Hmm. It's a chance, but they could reveal their hideout. So now please have confidence in me, Professor. If you don't, you'll be running a great risk and you might not save Diana. And the risk the is... The uh... right, Papa. Sooner or later, those monsters are going to find me. Why not try it as a last resort? Anything is preferable to continuing this nightmare. The plan just might work, too, Professor. You win. I'll go along with you. No, Professor. You should stay here. And wait to hear from Samson. Mm -hmm. Now try to get a little rest, Anna. The house is under constant guard. Now let's get back to the party and Strauss out. Let's get you back to the Lawrence Welk show. <laughs> I thought we drained him pretty good. How about you? Yeah, we're getting pretty good at this. <laughs> well, let's see. One, two. Watch your kidneys. Uh, up we go. Uh, yeah, heavy sucker, huh? Yeah. So are you guys going over to Steve's after the shift? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Shelly. Truth, dare, double dare. Promise or repeat. You have failed me once again, Chandra. You kiped my eyeliner. There is a terrible enemy in our waste arena. His name is Samson, and he is to blame. The girl that was chosen as your successor. Uh -huh. 
was in our power when he got there tonight. But tomorrow he'll be dead, Sorina. Hmm. This I swear in the name of your husband, the king of the doctor. I am watching the game. You know I must terminate my reign soon. So tomorrow you are to have my successor here. My vengeance is cruel and terrible. Mm. Phyllis Take Newman has gone you nuts. As well as your sisters will be changed to dust. That's what happens if you don't moisturize. Right there goes half the bowling team. Key ripes. Fiends are visiting from Europe. Give me another opportunity. I shall not fail again. Tundra, I wish to see my successor tonight. Take me to her. You order and I obey, Sovereign. You're damn straight. Want it on the telephone, sir. It's Lucy Ricardo. She wants to be in the show. Hey, this isn't Strauss. Thank you, thank you. That was you. Two for the Vikings. I got two, two for the Vi Vikings. That Danny DeVito has arrived. Why do you suppose they want the inspector? Oh, I... Ah, indeed. Well, well put. We will crush the imperialist running dogs. Ah, there's always a line in the ladies' room. I was speaking to Professor Roloff. Samson hasn't phoned and he's worried. I understand that tonight he fights at the arena. So maybe he'll get in touch with us a little later on. This must be the arena where Samson is fighting tonight. Perhaps we'll get in touch with them later on. Oh, they're making the beast with two butts. You know, it actually looks fun. <laughs> Says you. They were the inspiration for the uh, Philobolus Dance Company. The ruling party set the debate format. <laughs> Oh, no! no. no. Sure, they made fun of him in high school, but An just look at him now. before I have my match with Samson. It's going to be a real tough fight. I want to oh, take a little nap. Oh, crack! Look out! Oh! Mm. <laughs> Make sure you lock the door, Willie. I don't want nobody to disturb me. <laughs> he looks like an executioner on break. Mount Man. Wow. Hey, you're out of toilet paper in here. I was sent by Fantasy Graham. When a man loves a wrestler. <laughs> Oops, someone let me down there. <laughs> Mr. Wrestler, are you trying to seduce me? This scene was cut out of Spartacus. Oh, it's a Robert Maplethorpe photo session. <laughs> You have a kind face. Come to the dark side or I'll take your lunch money. Yeah. I'll see you in hell. Well, actually, I will. I'm down there a lot, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. It's the wrong guy. Yeah, now I better dress him and tie him to the fender and get him home. Then there's all the paperwork down in hell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, gee, should have seen that one coming. <laughs> this was one of the weirder parts of the Menendez trial. I can see why Cindy Lauper loves this sport, so. It's Andy L. Kaufman. Why can't they just talk about whatever's bothering them instead of the senseless wrestling? Ow, that hurt me. You're on now. Say, is your body remarkably different from when I was just in here? It's a little chilly in the ring tonight. Take this light there, wrap, okay, go. honey? Let's go to our night at the theater. Ding, ding! We need a volunteer! Sit down. Everybody sit down. We're not going to start the match until everybody sits down. <laughs> The wrestling program in hell is second only to Iowa. Well, the second Schnelling Satan fight went on for 15 rounds. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. But I'm just the referee. Thank you. Three falls are allowed, and there is no time limit tonight. Robert. We are seeing the main event of the evening. In this corner here, the Blacksmith the Challenger. Nobody likes me. And here in this corner, the man in the silver mask is Samson, the champion! Mm. This is what would happen if Don King took over opera. Mm -hmm. Hey, I didn't ask to see that. <laughs> okay. I'll take your coat and put it in the guest room. <laughs> ah, yes, the sport John Irving wrote about so eloquently. Well, you know, before he became a fallen angel, Satan was a jock. <laughs> this is very much like the quiet man, except they're Mexicans in tights and one of them is the devil. Oh, gee, Ted, you're getting really serious about this. I mean, come on, let's just go. Ow! Uh oh, uh, that's got to be Forrester. <laughs> oh, Mike, I can't find Frank anywhere. He never stays out this late. What with his fear of halogen, I've checked everywhere. The DQ, the sewage treatment plant, all his usual hangouts, nothing. I'm just terribly afraid that he's gone and he's never coming back. And if I cared one iota, it would be devastating. If I cared. Boy, the boss is always the last to know, huh? <laughs> well, you see, sir, our time here on Earth is, is but a passing thing. He was assumed by the angel Torgo in a glorious coronation. Well, well, it was kind of a cosmic Torgo. You see, his mission as a second banana was, uh, and yeah. you were kind of mean, so they, Well, um... there was a fortune cookie which yeah. foretold something about something, yeah. and then, well, Gabby Hayes is heavily involved. Anyway, he's not coming back. Sorry. Wait. I can't imagine. I shan't, because it isn't true. But it is. Oh, this sucks. Who will be my guinea pig for my gene splicing? My fingernail transplants? My fajita? Who will I blame my mistakes on? Who will I, who will I kill? I've destroyed, and I've maimed, and I've kicked him. Now I'm a bully. With no victim, no adrenaline thrill, no screams that are shrill. Who, who will I kill? I've crushed his head a few times, memories like nursery rhymes. No one died like my TV's Frank. No sweet blood to distill, no cute tummy to drill. Who, who will I kill? When I look upon the first evening star, I remember when I hooked his liver to the engine of my car. I could pickle my Aunt Lil. Give my dog a cyanide pill. But what frank-shaped void could they possibly fill? Here's my money. You can bank it. I'm no good without my frank. It seems he could die without batting an eye. Now it seems I must take my own bitter pill. Tell me who, who will I kill? <laughs> Goodbye, Frank. And remember, wherever you are, I will kill you. <laughs> well, in a sick way, I, I feel touched. God. We'll be right back. Yeah, I swear he's got 
got a real nice way with the song. That fellow's mm -hmm. not the black mask. Yeah. He's been using karate on me, and he could kill me with one blow. Listen, I'll ask that they suspend the match, Samson. No, mm -hmm. I'm going to see this thing through to the end. But you're crazy. He's trying to murder you. I've already been warned about this, but we'll see. Or can I lose the mask? It's hot. <laughs> Ah. Oh, good. Give me more wrestling. But the whole place smells like brie by now. So much for my fresh new start. <laughs> oh, and the devil is out of the ring. The Ooh. Prince of Darkness has fallen on a woman in the front row. It wasn't such a good idea to send a killer vampire into the crowd. And, um, oh, there you are. This mask makes it so hard to know who you should wrestle. <laughs> This isn't strictly wrestling, is it? No. no. Um, ouch. <laughs> Let's see, is this melon fresh? <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Mm. I think the audience could have been seeing high or cockfighting. Mm. Ah, please. You'd almost think that was all planned out. Mm -hmm. Samson trained by watching Roadrunner cartoons. Here, that wasn't working. Let me try that. There we go. Ah, they resort to second grade <laughs> tactics. <laughs> the International Fight Like a Girl Championships. <laughs> I've engaged in a bit of pugilism myself. Your facial peel is ready to come off now, Sam. Hey, come on, man. Don't ruin my gimmick. Don't touch mask. <laughs> wow, chicken wings. Uh, there's a zipper in back. That's going to be Peter Lopez. It's part of the face. It doesn't come off. It's an Oak Ridge boy. <laughs> what? What? It's my butt crack, isn't it? <laughs> Pan, Texas Ranger. <laughs> Call the pound. Stay, you stay, ow, you stay, you stay, you stay, you stay. <laughs> Mothra is attacking the city. Oh. Run, it's Butch Patrick. <laughs> oh, now you're just provoking him. This is how it goes now. How can this be considered a legitimate spot? Okay, no more shapeshifters in the ring. Terrific floor show, eh? Look, it's very late, Inspector, and I'm starting to get tired, so what's the use of waiting? Just a while longer. Until daylight. It's safer, believe me. We'll get our menus eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, the Judds. <laughs> sisters, sisters, never were the such devoted sisters. Which twin has the Tony? Our wives don't understand us. Hello, ladies. Uh, your special today is a cheesy taco loco. I'll be back to take your order later. She's looking at me. Uh, she's looking at me. <laughs> okay, then let's get a Bloody Mary, two straws, uh, blood sausage, and some blood pudding. There is the girl chosen as your successor. Look at her. Mm. She looks exactly like her ancestor. She'll be worthy of my throne. But I hate her outfit. Oh, God, those bitchy vampires, Debbie and Jennifer, are here. <laughs> She's been stuccoed. <laughs> my skin cleared up. Billy and Hellman on a bad day. Uh, 
Inspector, watch the reflections. Those two in the rear there. They're checking me out. He knows we're ugly. <laughs> I got a dine and dash on table four. No running by the pool. Arrest those two women. Any two women. <laughs> this couple needs a cab. <laughs> the food here is terrible. And the portion's so small. Did you see two women come out? Uh, no. They must be around here. But I don't... Surround the whole area. I, I don't want I want to search you. thoroughly, understand? But we just came for dinner. You I two don't... stay here with us. But we don't... We have to give this young lady protection. And keep your eyes open. Where devils go, trouble follows. <laughs> it's time I went back to wait at the Crypt Tundra. If you fail again, you know what there is in store for you. You have to give me a pedicure. Yeah, we're pretty safe here, eh? Yep, no danger no, here. No danger That's for vampire. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. 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 That's a cool Fang funny car. Mm, neat. Rusty. I think it would be better if you went back to the house with Diana. I'll be waiting here. My men will go along with you. <laughs> it's the vampire version of Goodfellas. <laughs> oh, real mature vampires, you big bullies. Um, I, I don't need a ride. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you just tell him Tony the big bad vampire wants his money. Hey, I had this cab. Hey, look, I, I don't go to Hades, and if I do, it's only during the day. These vampires specialize in rough housing and the black arts. <laughs> the Keystone Vampires. <laughs> Come here, you mortal son of a bitch. Turns out it's not Samson, it's just a very flamboyant CPA. Circus of the Network Vampires. Oh, jeez, I thought I was done for the evening. Oh, getting too old for these raves. Oh, give me back my inhaler. <laughs> the Flying Nosferatu Brothers. Samson, party of one, your table is ready. The ultimate battle between good and evil is really goofy. Whoa! Ow! Yeah, I didn't fork over the money for the bat chasing option on this car, and now I need it. <laughs> well, apparently considerable taxiing is necessary for vampires to lift off. Okay, up, up, and up. Jeez. Death race, Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> Our Lady of Fatima is back, and she's pissed. Oh, why couldn't I have been a vampire in Israel? It's a sign that says, Wall Drug, 10,000 miles. Edges light quickly. Huh? Oh, please. Well, I'll just mark it in my book as a kill. Can I get you a glass of water, or... There's no time to lose, Professor. Huh? <laughs> I'm trying to save Diana, and it depends on this code. Well, just as soon as I finish those jumble. There. I really read him the riot act. I like you. Do you like me? Hmm. A. B. C. D. And here, I think... Therefore, I am. At last I've got it. Thank God. I've discovered the letter D. Here, let me start the gelato machine. Ah, oh, good. Uh, sir, we should probably get to rescuing your daughter. Uh, John Forsythe in Bachelor Father. <laughs> Professor Roloff here. 
I'm calling you, Samson. This is Professor Roloff. Come in. Can you hear? Jeez. It's very important, Samson. Emergency. Please answer. I'm listening, Professor Roloff. This is Samson answering. Come in, Professor. Over. Listen, Samson. The crypt where you'll find the vampires hiding is located in the forest of White Pines. Uh -huh. So please hurry. Good. I think we may save Diana. Yeah. In a second, we'll be on our way there. Okay. And I wish you good luck. Yeah, good whatever. Look, I got a fare right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Little Shoot, Wisconsin... Sometimes when the moon is full, Samson likes to turn off the headlights and just drive. Maybe if Cortez had never conquered Montezuma, we would not have had to watch this movie. Hmm? Yeah. Go El Santo, go El Santo, go El Santo, go. They move the action to the Ardennes. See the Mexico in your Chevrolet. <laughs> ah, thank goodness a wrestle stop. If a wrestler falls in the forest and there's no one to hear it, does it count as a fall? <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly he forgot how to drive. Hmm. What? How come I haven't noticed that before? <laughs> ah, come on, everybody's doing it. <laughs> Jeez, we haven't even put the needle in yet. <laughs> Peter Garrett stars in a very special ER. <laughs> Do we honestly need another remake of Little Women? <laughs> In a few short minutes, we will see the dawn. You must hurry now. Ah, another HUD home for sale. <laughs> wow, man, this place is like my first apartment before I got my big wrestling contract. <laughs> huh, I like what they've done with the cobwebs in Bat Guano. Cripes, what good is being the ruler of the underworld if you gotta live in a dump like this? <laughs> Rebecca? What the hell is Rebecca? It's a costume, okay? Your very own glow-in-the-dark Samson. Come on, do something. Wrestle, even. Well, I mean... Tell me I didn't hear that. Hey, buddy, take it from a wise old me. Don't go in there. The only problem with a mask is that it's really cutting off the circulation by now. Oh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, it's a cage match. Please do not feed the Samson. <laughs> Dear God, I never wanted to see this. Oh. 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 Hey, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> got a full acre of area. The vampires have a pretty basic agenda with everyone they <laughs> capture. Tell your sister Tundra that it's late. She must hurry. Tundra, Mom says you're late. Touchdowns. I forgot to put up the storm windows. At last we're going to know who our stubborn enemy is. Take off his mask. Oh, I hope it isn't Alan Ludden. He's frightening. <laughs> oh, wow, he must be ugly. Oh, my mm. Had they just bought curtains, it could have saved the whole vampire race. Some people burn easily in the sun. <laughs> hey, you, you want to untie me quick before you die? Could you... So how's your slab, huh? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, rescue you and, uh, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, but this is the last time, you guys. Well, no one can resist a good mix it up. Can I get a bendy straw? Uh, what was I doing before? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, bye then. Well, see, it's because they didn't reapply their sunscreen after sweating. Movie Town News presents The March of Time. Ah, damn Martha Graham dancers. <laughs> oh, damn, all the biffies are full. Panty raid! <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I'm gonna burn you to death. <laughs> Gee, I hope this is the right thing to do. <laughs> Well, I'll just let God sort them out. <laughs> That's always nice, Samson. Just torch everyone. Bested at every turn, and now you've got a chance to light some helpless women on fire. Well, I think that's about everyone. Well, I'm out of here. Authorities suspect arson. Hi, honey. Gee, it's great to be back at the castle. Hope your sister's dress-up Halloween slumber party went well. Oh, my God! It's a clown car. Um, you can put me down. Uh, I can walk. You don't have to. Uh, I could put... Could you put... There's a lot of bodies, Samson. We got some questions to ask you. I decided not to burn this one. Honey, I hate to tell you this, but an android from the future is going to come and kill you so you won't give birth. A thundering tire, a flashing turn signal, and a hearty hi-ho, Silver! Goodbye, sweet wrestling friend. God bless Samson. Who is he, Papa? God? Well, he's a Judeo-Christian dude. I don't think you'll ever know. But I'll say this, my dear. He's a fruitcake. In this age where there are certain evil men who propose to destroy us, Samson is an example to men of goodwill who serve justice. Well, I do what I can. I gotta go rinse out a few things. Well, guys, Frank is gone, and uh, maybe now would be a good time to read our letters to him, okay? Tom Servo? Okay, let's see. Um, dear Frank, well, I guess I'd better be going. Yours truly, Servo. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, Crow, how about you? Do you have a nice letter? Dear Frank, you are a pig. Love, Crow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, come on, you guys. Now, you're making fun of a guy who's been very nice to us. Yeah. I mean, sure, Frank's dumb, but... You know, we could have added a lot worse. I bet Gypsy's letter's more appropriate. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Dear Frank, I'm glad that you are in a better place. Forrester is evil, and you have been a welcome touch of kindness. Others may put you down, but I will always say, give me my TVs, Frank, and when he shall die, cut him into tiny stars, and he shall make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will fall in love with the night and pay no heed to the garish sun. Amen. That was beautiful. <laughs> Not as poetic as dear Frank, you are a pig, but still. It... What? Maybe Frank about Frank. Because Frank is... Frank? It really is you. Speak to me, Frank. Speak to me. Clay, close your robe. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just thought I'd check in from the ethereal outer world and see how you're doing. Frank, I... I can't believe I won't be able to kill you anymore. Don't worry, Clay, because somewhere deep inside your soul, <laughs> you'll always be killing me. <laughs> and remember this, my sentimental friend. Even though I will forever be in your heart, till the end of your days, you'll be a profoundly lonely man. 
Thank you, Frank. That's very kind of you. And just let me say this to anyone out there who's working for an abusive boss. Do not despair. Never let him crush your spirit, even if he's already crushed your skull. Always be yourself and wave your freak flag high. Geez, it must be horrible to work for a boss like that. Frank, could I ask you one thing before you go? Sure. Could you push the button, Frank? <laughs> Watch me rock. I saw two corpses in the garden. 